Martha and the What Ifs. Arthur lived above a noisy restaurant and next to a noisy train station, so it was often rather noisy, but he didn't really mind because, more than anything, Arthur loved playing his little red violin. He'd even composed a little tune all of his own. However, more than anything else, Arthur didn't really want anyone to hear it, which is why he was happy amidst the rumble of trains and the clatter of dishes. It's not that he didn't think his tune was any good. He liked it quite a lot, but there was just one problem. What if no one else liked it? What if he made a mistake? What if someone laughed at him? What if? And so what if kept his tune secret and safe? One morning, as he did every day, except weekends, Arthur headed out his front door, down the stairs, up some more stairs and onto the train platform to catch the train to work. As Arthur sat on the platform, listening to the drumming below, a funny thing happened. The little tune in his head started playing along. At the next stop, the sound of a piano drifted through the window. It didn't take long before it joined in with the music already playing in Arthur's head. For the rest of the day, Arthur quite enjoyed this little imaginary musical combo. What great fun it would be to really be a part of... But what if? The next day, as Arthur sat enjoying his lunch, it happened again. The tune in his head got even bigger. If only there was a way Arthur could let it out and share it, but what if? As Arthur made his way home that night, the drummer handed him a little piece of paper. Come join the Sunday jam session. All instruments welcome. A jam session, thought Arthur. Oh, but what if? Nevertheless, as Arthur sat in his clattery, rattly little apartment, doing this and that and the other, he almost didn't wonder what if, but only for a little while. In the still quiet of the night, long after the last plates had clattered below, and the last train had rattled by, Arthur woke with a start. But what if it's good? A little voice in his head asked ever so quietly. What if it's good? Arthur was dumbfounded. His what ifs always only ever went one way. However, it was a reasonable question to maybe bravely think about possibly considering for a moment a little bit. Could he somehow maybe actually join the jam session, but somehow hide at the same time? What if? And so the very next Sunday, Arthur bravely arrived in disguise. He took a deep breath as the pianist said, take it away, drums. And so it started with a beat. Hidden safely away, Arthur softly, bravely began to play. And on hearing the tune from the post box, the band began to join him. The music played just like it did in his head. But it wasn't only something he could hear. It was something he could feel. It was something that filled the air and swirled all around him. In fact, it swept him up so much, it wasn't until he finished that Arthur realised he was no longer in the post box. Oh no, Arthur panicked. What if it's good? Woo! In a noisy restaurant next to a noisy train station, Arthur's what-ifs had become something else entirely. Everyone loved it. Woohoo!